Hey everybody, good afternoon. So this is seventh period. This is our last video lesson for today. We're going to go ahead and do chapter five, ancient China and the wheelbarrow. So first I want to show you guys what a wheelbarrow is. Um, use it for yard work or construction. Uh, let's see. If you live in a house, not an apartment, you might have you might have one in your garage. So you can carry dirt with it or cement or anything. Basically, it helps you carry stuff. So let's see, ancient wheelbarrows. At the next display, there is a picture of a large wall going across mountains. It looks like the wall goes on and on and on, never ends. In front of the display sits an old wooden cart with a wheel. Dr. Jones asks if anyone knows what it is. My mom uses that while she is gardening, says Keisha. That is a wheelbarrow. That's right, this is a wheelbarrow, says Dr. Jones. It's very old, but not the first to be made. The wheelbarrow was made in ancient China around 2,100 years ago. The wheelbarrow is a cart with one front wheel and two handles for a person to push, explains Dr. Jones. It was used in China to help farmers carry food to sell in towns. It was also used by soldiers to carry food and supplies. A wheelbarrow can hold a large amount of weight. This was very important in building of the Great Wall of China, Dr. Jones says. Is that a really tall wall, asks Mary Beth. No, the Great Wall of China is very long. It is 5,500 miles long. It was built to protect the people of China, says Dr. Jones. It took over 1,000 years to build. I want to show this to you guys. Great Wall of China. I mean, this thing goes everywhere. Very long, 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 all the way around, miles and miles and miles. The wheelbarrow helped the workers carry supplies to build the wall. The Great Wall of China was built out of mud, stones, and bricks. Using the wheelbarrow helped them build the wall much faster, says Dr. Jones. So how do you think a wheelbarrow helped? Uh, imagine they used it to get those heavy bricks over to the wall where they would assemble it to make the wall. Excuse me. So the wheelbarrow was a positive change for ancient China, and it helps us today too. I have seen many different workers use wheelbarrows to move supplies around, says Chad. People use wheelbarrows to work in gardens, says Keisha. Yeah, that's for sure. Now on to the last display, says Mr. Jones. All right, so that was, that chapter felt short. Um, all right, so we'll do these together. The wall goes over the wheelbarrow, mountains, farmers, change, or Great Wall of China. If you thought mountains, you are correct. Remember in the picture, it is going over all these mountains. The blank was made in ancient China wheelbarrow blank used it to carry food to sell farmers or sell food the blank is very long remember what did they say was very long 
the wall, the Great Wall of China is very long. The wheelbarrow was a good change. I think, what did they have to do before wheelbarrows were invented? They had to carry all that stuff by hand. I imagine that took a long time and people got injured and um, so they needed a better way to do it that didn't require a horse necessarily that like a person could do. So they used the physics to um, figure out that if they put one wheel in front and two in the back, it would be easy to push and it would be able to carry a lot of weight. All right, so I'm going to link you to, um, in your flex assignment, a brain pop on the wa Great Wall of China. Oh my gosh, y'all, even when I'm not here, you're going to have to see me on at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I just want it to feel like I'm really here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to link you to uh, YouTube and a... Um, brain pop of the Great Wall of China. So you can learn about that a little bit more. Um, we have one chapter left in our book, which we will do, I think tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, so for now, that's it. And um, you can go do your flex lessons and enjoy your afternoon. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. You guys will see me in the morning. And um, have a good day. Bye.